Well, congratulations on the deal. You must be thrilled to get it over the line in time for tomorrow. Yeah, very happy, really. It's uh, obviously the start of the season now. It'd be nice, obviously, to get involved with the lads properly. So hopefully I can help them out in the first game of the season. What's it been like in the summer for you, waiting for a deal to come about? Um, I've, to be fair, I've been quite laid back, really. I don't know why, but I've just been chilling because I've, I've had quite a... It's been my 18th pre-season and so I've just been relaxed about it and just see if anything comes up when obviously Sean um, asked me to come down which I was delighted with and I've just come in and got my head down and started to start doing my job. Now he's championed what you've been doing behind the scenes, working with the likes of Lewis Carey and the more experienced lads uh, to really help galvanise the, the younger guys. Is that going to be one of your roles in the club, do you feel? Um, I, I would say so. Obviously, being one of the senior players here, um, it, it's, it's nice to, to give them some input, obviously, through my career, what I've been doing and how I've done it. And I'll probably be learning a bit off them as well. But they won't know it, but uh, just watching them how they do and obviously the new generation, it's going to be it's going to be good to learn off them and obviously helping them with a bit of input that I can give them. You've got a one year deal. What do you hope to achieve in that one year then? I uh, hope to achieve a lot really. Um, Sean's got big, uh, big um, aspirations to, to, go, to try and get straight back up. Uh, so I want to try and be part of that and try and help them to get straight back up into the championship, which will be my, one of my goals really to, to try and help them back up there. Yeah, longer term, do you foresee a longer stay at Bristol City? Is that your hope? Um, well, yeah, well, I suppose it'd be any player's hope to see that. But um, at this moment in time, I was going to concentrate on this year and try and get this year um, get this year ongoing and uh, help them to get promoted, I think. You said at Western a few days ago, you were about two weeks away from being fully fit. If you were called upon tomorrow, if the manager said you're going on the pitch, are you going to be fine with that, though? Yeah, definitely. I'd definitely be fine with that. I'll be... be uh, can't wait to really to get onto the pitch and get started really if he asked me to come on and do a job and that, I'm ready I'm definitely ready yeah I mean obviously uh, everyone gets excited by the opening day don't they yeah very excited uh, hopefully it's going to be a, a good day for us at the end of it um, a good start so uh, we can carry on from there Have you any good memories of playing at Ashton Gate before um, I've, I've had a few memories but it's just um, we've, we've, I've always come in we've always had a good game so it's always nice to see it from the other side really and hopefully it'll be, it'll be a win for us and What do you know about the, the club itself and, and what Sean O'Driscoll told you about these plans for the club? Um, I don't really know much um, about the club but what I've learnt through um, these last couple of days I've been here it's, it's, just, it's a lovely family club um, and they like to work hard and do well for each other um, and they, they want to, to win things and do things the right way, which is really nice and to be part of that now, to try and achieve a goal, to, to carry that on and to take it onto the games.